Christine Sinclair looking, shooting, go! One nothing Dorns! Klingenberg drives, header, go! Fans back in Portland, goals back in Portland. And this, over 500 days in the making, brilliant service by Klingenberg, the Thorns lead. And Mike, you mentioned the service from Megan Klingenberg, and this is a lovely little ball, just floated in behind, and then it's Rocky Rodriguez that's able to get on the end of it. This beats her mark to the ball. And you can see what this means, not only to these Portland players, but to the fans. We uh, will play this down the right touchline. Header is in, Lucy! Tyler Lucy doubles the Portland lead. And the service from out wide for both teams have proven to be difficult to defend. This time, it's Lucy just times it well. Westfall's the one that serves it in. Vincent able to get a touch. Ratcliffe crosses. Ball stabbed oh. in, and there's the goal! Tremendous from Amy Rodriguez! Kansas City's talisman is back. It's a one-goal game with half an hour to go. It's a tough clearance, can't get it outside the box, and then Ratcliffe just sends a no-look across. And well done by Pickett to be able to keep it alive. Bounces fortuitously to Amy Rodriguez, just gets her boot on it and redirects it. We've seen those goals from her time and time again. Plenty of starting experience, Yokoyama. Yokoyama! The Washington Spirit go on the road to carry and grab a goal inside five minutes. Reads the play well. No one picks up Yokoyama. She's able to turn, and then Roland can't do anything about it. It's a great finish from Yokoyama, just to slot it into the far post. All chipped ahead. McDonald. Jessica McDonald leading back. Hamilton will not throw away her shot. It's 1-1 in the 10th minute. And it's the first time. Here's the ball over the top to Jess McDonald. If you keep your eye on Kristen Hamilton, just pulls herself off. No one picks her up. Paige Nielsen is late to step, and it's an easy finish in the end. Just calm and composed, slots it to the far post. He's so unpredictable coming into this season. And the attack is on again in behind. McDonald, McDonald coming out. Bledsoe got a piece, but McDonald scores. These North Carolina fans know what to expect when they come to carry 2-1 Courage. And again, it's a too much time and space. Carson Pickett able to turn face, and it's a good little ball into the onrushing path. Bledsoe does well to come out and at least get a touch on it, but it's enough on it for Jess McDonald. Just too quick, gets past Paige Nielsen to take advantage of her ability to be able to find the back of the net. Mace launches this ahead. Trouble brewing. Matthias waits, checks, scores! Bledsoe got caught. Matthias, first game since 2019, scores a peach of a goal. 3 1 courage. It's a good ball over the top, and this is what Mary Matthias does so well. Gets up and down the field, helps join in the attack. Gets her head up. It's a good first touch to separate herself, get the ball out in front of me, underneath her, and then sees Bledsoe off her line and then just a perfectly weighted chip. Adapt to this style of play, this, this level of play and the speed. Oh, Rodman! Rodman! The number two pick, minutes into her debut, scores for the Spirit! It's a magical start to her professional career. And you love to see this. This is a good ball over the top. But look at this first touch, just in behind the back line of North Carolina Courage. Sets herself up perfectly, gets her head up, sees where Roland is, and just slots it past the onrushing goalkeeper. What a goal for her debut. Right to Korniak. And good pressure 
by Alex Krieger just to step in. Through again. Flag is down. For racing, is this the moment? C.C. Kaiser, the first goal in racing history. And in these opening 12 minutes, we've seen some gaps in that back line for Orlando, and Kaiser gets on that front foot, beats Orlando to the ball, is calm, good first touch to set her up, takes it across the oncoming path of Ashlyn Harris, and just slots that one into the near post. Fox is taken away. And the cross here, header to the back post. Korniak scores, Orlando equal. And Vigiana does well against Emily Fox. She bites, she's able to cut, and then there's Megan DeHorey Howard wide open on the edge of the box. And with the height advantage of Korniak, this Orlando team should be serving balls in all day. All she has to do is redirect it, tucks it into that far post. But Krieger was there, as she seemingly always is. Marta. Look at all this space. Driving forward, Kim. Kim! Oh! An incredible goal for Orlando! The final minutes! They've rained on Lobel's party. They may have grabbed all three points. Off and running, Megan DeHorey Howard finds a little bit of space, runs at the back line, and that's a good ball into the path of Kim, who's able to take it first time, leaning away from it, but gets underneath it enough to be able to beat Betos, who's off her line. Kaiser for Louisville. McCaskill. Had her down, and knocked across it in! Brooke Hendricks! Brooke Hendricks equalizes for Racing Louisville! for any sort of knockdown. Brooke Hendricks just completely unmarked right on the penalty spot. Takes it well first time, just to that far post. Eddie. Anamano running onto it for Gotham FC. Into the box, wide open, and a goal is scored by Monahan. And this is the tempo that we're talking about. This time it's on a Manu. This is a really good ball. Monahan gets on the back shoulder of Ali Krieger. They have no idea that she's making the run. The commitment to get there, all she has to do is tap it in because that ball is bending right into her path, far post. And Ashlyn Harris does well to get over, just unfortunately slides underneath her in the end, just too close. Houston, brilliant. Ahead, Rodman. We'll catch up. Fox closes down. Rodman crosses. And the goal! Washington scores! It's Sanchez in the 93rd minute! And surely that feels like a winner. We don't even get the brilliance of Tori Huster because it's so good. We don't want to show you again, but she was absolutely fantastic. And again, Trinity Rodman, instead of taking this one, cutting it back to her left foot, she puts this one in, gets this ball on the ground, puts this one across, and instead of taking a touch in the box where a lot of players would, puts this one home. Michelle Beto's not happy with herself in the dying minutes, getting scored on. Trying to play this in behind. Once again, it's Morgan Weaver in on goal. Weaver in! Portland scores, breaks the deadlock. Morgan Weaver scores the goal. And the two times that Portland Thorns have gone direct, it's been great opportunities. The first one was Lucy off Portland the crossbar. Thorns. This time it's Morgan Weaver just getting on the inside shoulder of Casey Kruger. That ball spins into her path, and she does well to take it to be able to slot it into that far post. Joe takes it down. After Freeman was able to cut out the attack, now Mitch Purse with room to roll. As Paige Monahan takes it herself, Mitch Purse all alone. Purse. Off the hand and in. Mitch Purse back in the lineup, back on the score sheet for Gotham. And this is a huge, huge defensive error for North Carolina. Cujo finds the front runner. Ball to feet. Purse drives with her power. Ball at her feet, beating this first defender again. 
You have cover, you have support, you're a 2v1, there's no need to dive in. But Purse, absolutely brilliant from her to get this ball past the first defender and have the confidence and the pace just to slot this one home. Davinia cleans up the mess. McDonald in space. Mace, Dabinia, Williams in the box. McDonald takes a deflection off of Cujo. Dabinia finds the bottom corner. We're back level here at Montclair State University. Sloppy in the midfield from Gotham. Win it here again. Dabinia getting on the ball, getting her head up, finding this one out wide. Where's the space? Out wide. Jess McDonald knows that. Beats her defender 1v1. Puts a cross in. Sloppy clearance. Balls at the feet of an unmarked player of Dabinia. It's just, again, not good enough defensively. Did that wake them up? Williams to McDonald. Something on again. Dabinia streaking down the middle. McDonald with it. Look at Haricic across oh. Dabinia. Back to back for Dabinia. Completely collapse. And again, you see players like Mace dropping down. And then you see Williams getting on the ball. Where's the space again? I say it time and time again. Jess McDonald rolling outside to this right hand. But how about this ball into the box? This is precision. Keeps it on the ground. Sees, the, again, that late midfield run from Davina. And this is a well-deserved goal to put them in the lead. 2-1. Off it over the top. A long run for Monaghan. She gets it into some space. Mitch Purse with her. Plenty of space to take herself. Monaghan in the front. I don't know if it went off of Speck or if it went off of Purse. And the flag stays down. Whoever hit it, it's 2-2. Two two. And while we're showing you the replay, they do give them the goal. And it looks like on the replay there, it might have been Purse who got the boot on it. It was. So Purse gets credit after all that. It was a goal, it wasn't a goal, it is a goal. It's two to two with two from Purse, two from Dabinia. Out wide for Kawasumi. Dorsey, through to Lloyd, Ooh. beautiful ball. Carly Lloyd on her left foot, she finishes. The other international that's back in the lineup gets it done now for Gotham. First time since 2019 for Carly Lloyd. And she wastes no time getting back on the score sheet herself. Plays this ball out wide where there's time and space, which allows Carly Lloyd to sneak into that final third. But the ability for her to play, just come across that front line of the center back in behind that fullback channel and the defensive screen. And then to have just the precision to slot this one home near post, past Murphy. But you can already see the, the substitutes of North Carolina, especially two center backs. I, I've in for McDonald and she leaps, finds it. In front of Harichich, both players down. But where does this start? Spec in this midfield winning it. We weren't really seeing that in the first half. And then Jess McDonald just going up big, strong. It's this shoulder to shoulder contact. Lloyd searching for an option. Thought she found it in purse, but left it a little bit too long. Gets it right back though. <laughs> Side, Eddie out wide. Onomonu on a run. End line, Onomonu in front. Flicked off, brilliant. Vien, there's that moment of brilliance I called for. Onomonu inside VN, up 4-3 for Gotham. Who's called this game? <laughs> I did, I said this game will end 4-3 with Gotham getting on the score sheet because of a player like Carly Lloyd. Not taking anything away from North Carolina, but she's a winner. She goes to the end. Yes, a missed pass, picks this one back up. The build-up play down this right-hand side. The ability to get around that last defender, slot this one home, absolutely brilliant. She hasn't been able to find the ball at her feet and any time Rodriguez goes for a challenging ball, there's Davidson tight on her. Well, Rodriguez is able to profit off of Gordon, who just let it run. Fontenaire was behind her to cover, and Amy Rodriguez has scored both goals in Kansas City history and has given them their first ever lead. And Sarah Gordon here thinking Nair's coming out for it. And Amy Rodriguez just taking no chances and plowing down on it. And a really nice touch from Rodriguez here. She uses the outside of her right foot to curve it around Nair and find the back of the net. I should say from Amy Rodriguez there, kids watching at home, you always do the running. You always put the extra effort in. Now Johnson's in behind. Katie Johnson has finally Snap Chicago Red Stars scoreless run in this Challenge Cup. It lasted over 260 minutes, but Chicago finally off and running in 2021. Chicago with a similar style goal that we just saw from Kansas City. A 
beautiful ball played in here, and it's Katie Johnson. Looked like she may have been a step or two off sides. The flag stays down, and a nice touch towards the goal for Johnson and then uses her right foot to get it past Smith, who's bracing out to close down the angle. Morgan tracking back, able to win it. Ahead for Sydney LaRue. LaRue, yes! Sydney LaRue opens the scoring. What a goal to get this night started for the Pride. You can see this, the vision and awareness of Alex Morgan puts this ball absolutely on a platter for Sydney LaRue. But how about this finish? This is not an easy angle. It's this cool, calm, and the run by Sydney LaRue on that inside shoulder to come across the goalkeeper as she's going to ground. Absolutely fantastic from Orlando. So defensively, yes, switched off, but players coming up big on both ends. Moran, Sinclair, both hovering around the ball. Horan will take it herself and hit it! Lindsay Horan giving the Thorns the early lead. And what a strike from Lindsay Horan to put her team up 1-0. This isn't easy from this distance to get it up and over the wall, but you can see the spin. It bends up and over and into that far post. Karen Bardsley reads it the entire way, but it's perfectly placed in that upper corner. Portland Thorns in black. Christine Sinclair on the attack. Nobody steps to the ball in white, so Charlie gets to it. Lindsay Horan left foot, it is blocked, and now it is in by Charlie. And what an excellent start from the Thorns, just getting on the front foot right away, and it's that midfield run from Sinclair that gets this started, and Simone Charlie stays on, no one clears. It's a miscommunication. Lindsay Horan follows up, and then Simone Charlie with a put away. Loaded ball, headed down and in! The opening goal goes to Racing Louisville at CC Kaiser bagging another. Ekic, she's been slicing and dicing, I love it from her. Keeping the ball alive, I just talked about Simon. What a service. Picks it out perfectly, right to the near post, darting run by Kaiser. She likes to score in this time of the game. It's first half. Give me the ball if I'm CeCe Kaiser. Put in play by Davinia and cracked across. Header is off the post and in. There's the answer by the Courage. And it's a short corner using the outswinger again from Pickett. And I think that's the right call. When the first time we saw it from that side, it caused problems from racing. What an unselfish run there to get to the near post. I don't think Kristen Hamilton thought that that was going to be where the ball went. But because she went, drew some players away. There is no one in that space at the back post that she just left then. Ends up tucking it away. Gorgeous goal from Hamilton. I think that was Hurts too. Yep, destructive. Got to be careful on a yellow with that kind of challenge. Lynn Williams. Lynn Williams at full stride. Williams. This deflected away with McDonald awaiting. Rolls this back to Pina! The most exciting player in the world, to Pina up 2-1. North Carolina has come back from a deficit to take a second half lead. She starts it off by threading Lynn Williams through. Williams puts Simon on her back shoulder, can't get anything on frame. But who do you want more than Dabini at the top of the box? She's even falling away from this one and ends up placing it near perfectly in the upper corner. Great vision from McDonald to find Dabini at the top of the box. Karam's out. Olufsen sent it forward. Bounces all the way through. It's Kaiser inside the box. Kaiser cross. Bokum! Goal! Louisville equalized with 15 minutes to go! She just stays alive here, knows that there's going to be an opportunity. Reruns as Kaiser picks her head up. Little flick off the outside of her right foot. Just sliding in between the two defenders there for North Carolina. Provide a little bit of energy. The center back fell down. Lynn Williams leading to Binia. There's Betos toward the line. 
Knocked off the post and in by Julia Ashley. North Carolina leads 3-2. The numbers centrally springing through Lynn Williams. Just Betos gives up a, a rebound, comes straight at her. Maybe was set there to make a big save. Can't hold the close shot of Davinia, and granted, Davinia is putting a lot of power on that. Oh, and Ashley was so close. There is Vasali now on the ball. Has Chapman running through. She touches it around her player. It's gonna stay in. Bowen retreats. And there's Delfava again. Might have been a handball from Mewis. Nope, she's gonna crack it. It's Christy Mewis with her left foot. Kisses the post. And it's in, one to nothing, Houston. Incredible job by Houston to stay on the attack as Kansas City tries to clear this ball out. And a really nice run here, all the way into the corner and getting the cross in and finding Christy Mewis at the top of the box. Of course, he ends up fouling, and now Daly steps up. Daly slots it home. It's 2 0 Houston Dash. Incredible running by Rachel Daly to draw the foul, but it's the calm and the composure from Daly that allows her to put it away. It's been a lot of the Dash here in the second half, and they come. Back at this Kansas City defense once again, it's Prince. What a little dink by Prince. She finds Mewis and it's three nothing dash. As this ball comes into Prince, who's all the way out by the touch line, her first touch is towards goal. She attacks the front foot of May Monet, gets past her and has number of runners from the dash inside the box. A great run by Prince and then Mewis wide open in the middle of the six yard box. This is that fast and she's that quick in her explosive step to get past defenders. Levanta springs through Vasconcelos. Vasconcelos! Listen to the crowd celebrate. It's a beautiful thing, Lisa. The first goal at home for Kansas it's Vasconcelos with the big celebration. The ball picked off here. Lola Bonta gets it and she attacks the space, but Vasconcelos with a nice run out of the midfield. She shoots it right through the hands of Jane Campbell. She's looking fresh over there. Pew! Mallory Pew! Her first goal as a Red Star! And it's a beauty. Incredible job by Chicago. They've been on the front foot this entire half. As the ball comes in to Pew, she's able to turn Hammond. A cut inside to her left foot. Curls the ball to the far post, hitting the side netting. For Chicago Red Stars head coach Rory Dames said that he wanted his team to get used to scoring first, to being on the attack first, to not going down, conceding a goal before turning on the attack and turning on the pressure. Huerta! Oh! Sofia Huerta showing off, tying the score here. Incredible response from O.L. Reign. Just minutes after Chicago's goal, a miss clearance here as Jess Fishlock finds Sofia Huerta who takes the ball towards the corner of the six yard box, gets her head up and finds the far corner of the net past Nair. Chicago pinned in their own half. It's Sierra King driving to the end line. it! What a good assist by King. Pruitt sends it home. It's 2 1. OL Reign over Chicago. Nice job here by Huerta to create space for herself. The little slip ball to King and Leah Pruitt holding her run to come in late, right at the top of the six yard box. Open up her hips and find the far <laughs> post. Watch Sierra King here on the celly. Cruz just came into the field. She does a good job to find King. Shot from the far side of the box. Sierra King pings the post. It's in. Three to one. OL Rain.
nine. Great job by Cruz here. She loses the ball, she wins it back. And a nice little cut ball to King waiting at the corner of the 18. She attacks the space in front of her. Daly finds Lasko, getting chased down by Quika. Goes to the ground, but she's able to find Groom. Shay Groom! Shay Groom with her left foot. What a goal by Groom. Her first goal of this Challenge Cup series gets Houston up 1-0. Does take a little bit of balance off of Hubley, it looks like, that lands right to the path of Shea Groom, and it's that first touch again that gets herself set up. She's composed, she's calm, under pressure, and then in the end, she's having to slide for it, but picks it out perfectly into that upper far post corner. Really great finish, really great build-up play from the Houston Dash. Taken over by Portland. A dummy play there by Charlie. She breaks through past Chapman, trying to get that through the middle. Sinclair, and she gets it past Jane Campbell. Christine Sinclair evens it up. And the play comes from an outside area where they're able to slot the ball back, unbalances the back line for Houston Dash. Credit to Simone Charlie. Starts this play, just an understanding of where the space is, lets the ball run, buys herself some time. It looks like Chapman's about to make the recovery, gets through her legs, and then it's the follow-up, the trailing run from Sinclair. Doesn't even make good contact with it, but screened Jane Campbell through the traffic of those Houston Dash defenders. Coming in, Desiree Scott on the bench, so fighting and pushing for that starting 11 roll. There's a the giveaway, Pickett gets it wide. Mallory Weber. Cutting in field, Weber's shot is in! Top corner, Kansas City scores! Welcome back to Kansas City, Mallory Weber! Beating her defender and just slipping the perfect pass in, taking this back onto the right foot, beating another defender and curling this around the goalkeeper. I mean, this is as good as it gets. It almost felt like it was slow motion as that was going towards the top corner. A beautiful finish from Weber. Fishlock looking to convert and equalize for Rain. Jess Fishlock scores! And Rain pull one back. We're level at one. Jess Fishlock popping into the space, having the ball from that right-hand side, using the midfield platform to switch out to the left-hand side, and then obviously King getting brought down in the box. Jess Fishlock stepping up. Slotting this one home, and we have a game. Seen tremendous goalkeeping throughout this challenge cup. Ball whipped in. Barnes just knocks this up into the air. Headed on and in. Rain, go ahead, 2-1. And this is what makes football one of the best games in the world. Je or Barnes keeps this one alive, just pushes this one out on the outside of her foot. And then again, a, a goal really coming from just Putting it back into the box. Moy lost it there against Sinclair. The two veterans bump. Christine Sinclair looking, shooting, go! One nothing Thorns. Well, you know production could come out of this Thorn midfield. It's just over the pressure that comes from the counter press of Portland. Sinclair sitting between the lines picks up the loose ball that bounced off, bounced off of Lloyd, and then at last minute Lewandowski tries to step on Sinclair right at the edge of the 18. But Sinclair so clean with that strike, spends it in that far post. I'm assuming in motion. Dorsey left. Cross is coming. And there's a tying goal. Carly Lloyd's first touch is a goal, and it's 1-1. The two vets have scored in this game. It's really good play from Gotham FC. They've got the width. They get their outside back forward and Imani Dorsey and then Lloyd just rises above Becky Sauerbrunn, times it incredibly well. 